maintaining our crowns while supporting our sister. <laughs> Think about it. What's up, y'all? Hey. 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 Hello. Hey. Hello. Welcome back. This is Duke so crazy. Duke crazy. I like it. Duke so crazy. I like it. Right. He's from Harrisburg. Mm. Yeah? I like the vibe. Oh, M. It's very nice. Hey, Duke. Very nice. Yep, this is called My Crazy Life by Duke So Crazy. I like it. Queens, we look sexy today. Don't we, though? We look very, very sexy, sophisticated, classy. We get a little rashy sometimes, but we still... Do you say a little rashy? Rashy. Oh. I had to throw... I was like, what? Rashy? I thought she said... I thought she said rashy. I think I'm pretty smooth. I put lotion on every night. Let me stop because they're not paying us. Hey, Queen. Hey. Welcome to the Queen's Table where we grow and we glow together. Maintaining our crowns while supporting our sisters as well. And we promise to keep you entertained while always keeping it real. From one queen to another, adjust your crown and have a seat at our table. Hey. I'm back. <gasps> yes. yes. Healthy. I know. Thank you. It's been so long. It oh, feels like you. it. I miss the sofa. <gasps> You missed your crevice. I missed my crevice that I've made in the sofa. <laughs> Got a whole spot, a whole I indent. I it was a spot just for me. No, um, seriously, I missed you guys. Um, yes. For those of you who don't know, I, I caught the Rona. Mm -hmm. The beast got me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got sick for a couple days. But, you got um, sick. I was sick sick. You yeah. got sick sick. But I was going to the other room. You ain't going to the other room. I thought I was going to. I, I, look, I didn't know. I didn't, it's like, no, I'm playing. It wasn't. It wasn't that bad, but the headache was unbearable yeah. and the body aches. It felt like I got hit by a truck or I got beat up real bad and I ain't been listening. Mm. Not yeah, my it was baby. bad. It not was bad. Baby. Are all your symptoms gone though? You're yeah. not gonna have that like long haul thing, right? Hell no. Okay. No, no, no. Because that I'm sounds awful. Problems. I got shit to do. We got Cypher Sound coming this yes, weekend. We, do. we got shit to do. Yes, we, got shit to do. we have a couple different events coming up. Let's yes. get into that really quickly yes. first before we talk about other shit. Um, so this Saturday, June 11th, we have Cypress Sounds. He's a famous DJ. Um, yes. He was Lil' Kim's DJ. He yep. was on MTV. He mm -hmm. was on Hot 97. He was and part of Rock Nation. Rock Nation, yeah. too. And yeah. now he's coming to Central Pennsylvania. <gasps> Compliments yeah. of you, Street Media. Yes. You. <laughs> and he's bringing friends, yeah. you know. It's going to be lit. Um, hosted by myself and Kenzie. Yes. Dame uh, Robinson is actually going to be opening for him, mm -hmm. which is major. Um who else is on that show? Thundercats on the show. Um, shout out to my industry cousin. Uh, um, our music act is to be announced. Yes. It's going to be a lit situation. It's going to be good. Tickets, they're available now. The link is in the comments. Mm -hmm. um, then July 16th, we mm -hmm. have our next Room of Rhyme. Yes. Which is going to be here in Lancaster again in Zotropolis. Um, and then August 5th, we have York City. <laughs> First Ooh. York show? I'm excited. First show York. I'm excited. I expect York to come out. Like, I, I really do. I want to see what y'all got. Like, I mean, I mean. <laughs> She's like, I mean. Nah, they would, hopefully um, they will come out. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, come on out, YC. Show them how we do it. Uh, August 5th at the bar, mm -hmm. actually. U Street laughs. We're going to be laughing. It's going to be fucking funny. It's going to be great. It's going to be hilarious. And okay, Bonnie's so on stage, you know? know? How can we, I know. how can you turn that down? I might retire before that show. <laughs> oh, my God. So how was everybody's weeks like? I missed a little bit, but how you guys been doing? Pretty good. I had an eventful week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah your event, your weeks, you need a reality show. <laughs> you really do. You need a reality my show. My dog took the show this week. She was on. What'd she do? Oh, she went on an adventure. Well, she, yeah, so I was late for work the one day um, because she decided to get out. Somebody left the back door open, so she took herself for a walk. Or she opened it herself because that's a big-ass dog. She took herself for a walk, and then um, the other day at the gas pump, she bit somebody through the window. Because she bit somebody? She bit him, yeah, because I on the way in, I, he was, like, looking at her through the car or whatever, and... Um, I got out. He was like, hey, that's a nice dog or whatever. She's friendly. I said, no, she's not friendly or whatever. So I said, let me keep the windows open a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I go in, and when I come out, he's walking towards my car and goes like this. 
That's his fault. And she bit him. <laughs> you you were asking for it. And then That's... she got loose uh, yesterday at the pet store. She didn't want to get a bit. I don't want to play out. this game, but I bet I can guess what color he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say white. He was, yes, yes. With the H. Yes. <laughs> His, his yelp was priceless, though. The way he yelped, it was like, Whoa! <laughs> it, was, it was funny, and I could, like, I was trying to compose myself, like, and be serious, but it was funny as If fun, somebody like, tells me that their dog is not friendly, first of all, I'm, I'm not, not petting it. about your animal anyway. Right. Is my is your dog friendly? No, absolutely not. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's dumb. See, my thing You're is, dumb. I think when I went in to pay for my gas, he was out there talking to her, and she's probably looking at him going like this. He's probably thinking, oh, she really Just is. Just like that fucking She's dinosaur running. in Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 So, yeah, she... Yeah. But how was your week? I know, because we, yeah, we ain't got no animals. I mean, it was... It was the <laughs> same as every other fucking week. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of my life right now. No, it's, it's... no, 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 no. Because you called me on Friday FaceTime, and you looked bomb. Thank you. Girl had the girls out. I did. I did. Well, because we were gonna, we were supposed to do first Friday, yeah. and then like schedules didn't work out. We I didn't get to do up. it. My graduated. Shout out to you. Yeah, but I still had the little bit of time off, so I was like, I'm not gonna just sit at home and do nothing minute, when I have I a break. Free. I thought everybody was busy. I went by myself. Fuck. Yeah, I got dressed up. I got cute. I went by myself. Went to a couple art museums. Went and found some bud and <laughs> took my ass home. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I didn't think anybody was available. I just wanted to get out of the house. Like, I was having one of those moments. Like, I need to get the fuck out of the house. Self-cares are cool. And you are dates by yourself. I think it's lit. So I got pretty and just left the house. I'm not talking to you. I went by myself. You go home and fuck yourself. But I thought everybody was busy. Like, I thought we canceled. Bonnie is everybody? Well, no. I thought you said you were busy that night, too. I mean. I thought so. Bonnie said yes. (laughs) I thought you were busy, too. So I just, I was like, I just want to get out. She took herself on a date. Yeah, she I, puts I out. took myself. Yeah, I did. I put. I, I did put out. Because she puts. I did. I did. Okay, so there's been so much going on, and I was so upset that I wasn't here for the past couple of weeks. Because yeah, I was ready to talk about some things. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's, let's talk about it. it. What happened this week? Well, first? first we need to start off with a couple things. There is an Amber Alert out right now. Um, I know somebody has the details, correct? I had the details. Yes, we want to make sure oh, we give you a heads up, off. everybody. Yeah, mine actually, my details went away. We'll find it. Um, yes, because we want to make sure. Little girl. It's a two-year-old. She, she was found. found? She was found, and we stole her car with her baby inside. Look how. Okay, look at God. Won't look do at it, God. Won't there we go. go. That's hey. perfect. So, we came together, so, Amber Alert found. Amber Alert canceled. She was found. But also, unfortunately, we do have to talk about another mass shooting that There's happened this morning i just yes. heard about the one in philadelphia right yes. yes so apparently they said that um it was last night right it was it was last night it was late early it was this morning yeah kind of early this morning last night um it was multiple gunmen they opened fire on south street there right, where w- you go to get cheese steaks and shop yeah and not the good cheese steaks but like the sex shops <laughs> and stuff are there so that's fun but i ain't going to the sex shop anymore yeah but yeah unfortunately it was um it was 12 people oh, yeah. shot and three killed four oh, killed four, four killed. killed i'm sorry yeah. four killed and uh, 11 injured and 11 injured yeah that's awful yeah so like i said on say less earlier shameless plug watch mm-hmm. um, <laughs> um you can't go grocery shopping Mm-mm. you can't go to church you can't mm-hmm. go to the hospital you can't that was send your one. kids to the school mm-hmm. <laughs> which really that one t- triggered me a little bit because i'm in health care so to see that somebody walked into a hospital and opened fire. Mm-hmm. And yeah. apparently, I think that gunman was actually trying to target a surgeon who he was blaming for his mm-hmm. ongoing back thing. But here's the thing with that one. The man had back surgery May 19th of this year. So, so like two fresh. weeks ago, he had surgery. He complained about his pain. He went into the doctor. The doctor was trying other things. The pain still hadn't relieved yet. It's only been two fucking weeks since you had the surgery. Give your nerves time to heal. Right. So he walked into the hospital, walked into the doctor's office, killed the doctor, the receptionist, a nurse, and another patient. So did he actually find the doctor? Yes, he found him. So he killed him. that's my thing. If you came for the doctor, why the fuck are you, like... He killed him. He Well, he killed people on the way to the doctor. Probably yeah. because they weren't trying to allow him... 
I think he lost his shit and thought that it was going to be an instant pain relief. I mean, when you're in that kind of pain, I know it definitely does mess with you mentally. But I mean, I don't know how long he had that pain before. But did you? I don't know in what world you thought shooting somebody was going to make that pain feel better. Then if your back hurts so fucking bad, how you make it through all of that? Take some fucking pain yeah, med, meds. Like pain no, but that's the thing. There's we're not going to get into the opioid crisis right now. Yeah, they're not trying to prescribe pain meds for back no. surgery. They'll send you to no. PT. OT, all kind of all kind of teas before yeah. they give you actual medication just mm-hmm. because of the opioid crisis. Mm-hmm. Which Responsible doctors too. do that, but there's still a lot out there that abuse the system and would be more inclined to just give you a prescription and pop pills in you than treat you. Right. You know. That's so, true. but this weekend there were 54 people injured, 11 people killed in seven separate mass shootings in this country just this weekend. We had seven mass shootings this weekend. That's crazy. Yeah. I'll just, I mean, I guess, you know what? Like, I used to love going out. Like, mm-hmm. I used to always yeah. want to go out mm-hmm. to, like, nightclubs and stuff. But not anymore. I, I, don't I, even, I, don't like, shit. I don't even like going to the grocery store. Two of these gonna happen. Two of these mass shootings were at graduation parties at yeah. somebody's house. Yep. Like, you can't even have a house party anymore. Some, a man opened fire at graduation? Mm-hmm. A graduation? Yeah. Sure did. That's so selfish. Yeah. Yep. Unbelievably woman, selfish. But, but but a civilian actually killed him. She killed the, the gunman. Yeah, there was a woman in the yeah. crowd. Um, he had opened fire, and she had her personal gun, and she, it was registered. It was legal. Like, all of that, she just had her personal gun. She took him out. Yep. I would do the same. I would, too. Mm-hmm. I absolutely would. Shout out to everybody who has their license. So while we're carry. talking about the mass shootings, we want to talk about the Texas. The Texas, yes. Caught in the Sunday line. <coughs> so are you talking about the shooting that Uvalde. happened with all the, the babies at the elementary yes. school? Yes. There was some new information that came out this week. The Texas police were trying very hard to blame one of the teachers. They were saying that this teacher left the door open to the school, had propped the door open, and it was her fault. They were trying That's to, a lot of pressure to shift on one person. Well, these morons, because this is like the eighth lie that they've got caught in, there's there's surveillance cameras at the school they pulled the footage they showed the teacher did not leave the door propped open she closed the door behind her so again they were caught lying trying to shift blame trying to act like all of this wasn't and it's not solely their fault but that many people dying is yeah it is and the mother actually how far is what was the response time an hour and a half what? Yep, it was 90 minutes. Well, I know mm-hmm. within 45 minutes when they handcuffed the one mom yep. and she got free, she actually went in there and got two of her kids out. It took police 90 minutes? The police that were there. They were there while the guy was in there shooting, and that's when the mom they were listening. And got her kids. The families, the she parents were the- outside listening to the kids screaming, listening yeah. to the shots being fired, and the police weren't going in. When Border Patrol showed up, because they called in the feds, when Border Patrol showed up, the local police attempted to stop them from entering the building. They still tried to stop them from going inside. Border Patrol brushed right past them and burst in and killed them. They were in there in five minutes after they got there. But the Uvalde police waited an hour and a half. There was a mom. She drove 40 miles after she heard the shooting started. She drove 40 miles, got there, got handcuffed for trying to go in. They put her in the back of a cop car. She sat, she waited. She got uncuffed, ran, hopped the fence, got into the school, got her they two kids not out. They charge her with anything. How the fuck are they? They're charging It's resisting her? arrest. I don't give a fuck. I'd resist arrest all, all day. day. Because you're too pussy to go inside yep. and save these children. Yep. And now they're just trying to blame anybody that they can. They tried to use this. And this teacher started getting death threats mm. She, as if it was genuinely her fault. Like, she hasn't been through enough trauma already, all because this police department didn't want to take responsibility for their actions. I cannot even fathom the fear mm-hmm. of those parents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To listen. To have to stand there and listen. Bullshit. I would have been with the mom. I would have probably helped her uncuff herself. Yeah. I, I think I would have been tackling cops. I would have been like, look, there's probably there's more, more of us. There's more of us than yeah. there is them. Like, let's, let's go. Let's go get our kids. And it's Texas. You can't tell me none of those the parents had a gun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they did. I'm and sure they were parents. About it, like, there was probably some, like, you could probably see through the windows and mm-hmm. shit like that. Like, man, fuck that. Mm-hmm. I'm going yeah. in to get my kids. Exactly. Yeah. Period. Exactly. But they're, again, trying to, to shift blame and not take responsibility. They're under investigation now. The federal the feds are investigating what happened 
Um, how and I hope. Take, how far is the station from? Uvalde only has sixteen thousand people in the entire town. There's, it's like a five block town. But it what beats me is a couple months before they had got a four hundred thousand dollar grant. Mm hmm. For all new vests and armor, all this body armor. And, stuff like that, and you couldn't go use that armor to go in and protect mm -hmm. those babies. Mm hmm. Yeah. That really, that really is. It's repulsive. It kind of, it makes you afraid to be a parent. <laughs> I, yeah. Sending your kids to school, like. It gives us. Where they're supposed to be safe at. It gives us one more reason, too, to fear police presence. Yep. Because not only do you do the wrong thing in the wrong moments, now you do nothing when you're supposed to act. Like, that's your job. If you're not built for that. I understand. It's okay. Pick a different career path. But when you sign up for something like that, the same way as if you sign up to be a nurse you or you sign, yeah, you like you sure. sign up for what that entails, and you know going into that job that is a life or death job. Mm -hmm. You know that from day one. Mm -hmm. So why are you pussy? Why are you just gonna stand there and do nothing? That's just. Upsetting. I hope that I honestly I hope that sits on their conscience for a bit. It is for the rest of their lives. I hope it, it does. Should, if, it should. And I know a couple of them are probably parents. Well, one of the first responders, he was a paramedic. When he arrived, um, the first thing he found out was that his 10-year-old daughter was one of the victims. <gasps> they had him. They were interviewing him on CNN when he found out. He found out live on TV, and he was. it was rough to watch. It oh was rough. Gosh. Can we switch the subject? Yes. Because that just makes me, it makes my heart hurt. Yes, yes, yes. Let, let's move on to something Prayers a little to lighter. All of the yes. that have been affected by that tragedy. <sighs> To all of them, to everyone this weekend as well, because that's yeah. a lot of families yeah. in a lot of different states that that were affected by a mass shooting this weekend. Um, so let's let's move on to something a little bit lighter here. Lighter. Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's trial is done yeah. for now. Who is she? She's an actress. I know she's an actress, but I don't know her. Yeah, she's not like an A-list actress. She's more, I think, well known because she married Johnny Depp. You know what she is right now? She's about to be broke. She's broke. only worth two point five million, and she's supposed to pay him fifteen, right? Yeah. Uh huh. She's, she's got to pay him sell 15. your soul to that man. Well, they're about to appeal, apparently. So there's a chance that we're going to see them back in court why, again. Why are we supposed to care about their civil suit? For me, I. This is the only I usually don't get like really enthralled into like the celebrity nonsense. It felt so vindicating. Why? For anybody that's been through an abusive relationship yeah. that never got to stand in that courtroom, mm -hmm. it felt vindicating. You know all the guys on Facebook were like city boys up. That shit made that me so mad. Down. Johnny Depp is not a city He's boy, a city okay? Boy. <laughs> he is not city a city boy. boy. He is a celebrity and he is in your circle. He's not in that. Reason. He's on a whole different level. Yes. Watch the Dior ad. He's on a whole he different level. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the guitar playing for me. I think playing the electric guitar, I think that joint. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm scared. Mm -hmm. I just, I thought it was really nice to see the truth come out. I think majority mm -hmm. of people mm -hmm. saw what I the truth she was. Shit on his pillow. She did. She did. She did. Boy, yeah. Did yeah, she cut his finger off. There's, there's, Which yeah, one? part of the his one middle finger, yeah. part of it's missing. They, they were showing clips in movies where he had to cover it up with like either like a big, prop yeah, or big yeah. Or something Why'd like that. she do that? She in in an angry bottle. rage, she threw a wine bottle at him and vodka bottle. A vodka bottle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There were multiple pictures of him with with bruises mm -hmm. on him. Um, there were none of her except for the ones that she created. Her makeup artist slipped up on stand and said that, because they asked, like, have you ever covered any bruises? She said, I have both put bruises on and covered them up. What? So her makeup artist dimed her. Like, she was lying. She was a lying bitch. So my, I felt vindicated. I there goes your job. Yes. I mean, not that she has money to get her makeup done now. Anyway. I mean, there are still people out there that believe her for whatever reason. I don't, I don't see the logic behind that. But it felt vindicating for all of us that never got to put our abuser in that position. But it also pissed me off because she has taken away from the ability for women who do go through it to be taken seriously. And that I. But, I mean, I guess I feel it on, like, from a male standpoint, they're, like, at least a victory for us. Because some women are toxic. Some are. But well, some men, like, men are toxic, women are, people are toxic. We were see, men don't normally get 
acknowledge mm -hmm. domestic violence issues. And, and it happens way more than people realize. It's right. one in three women will experience domestic violence at some point in their life. One in four men will experience domestic violence at some point in their life. Our numbers are almost the same. Yeah, we all experience. Women. I'm going to be honest. There is why, you, why you stutter? I have. Yeah, there was I, one relationship. Yeah. But it was like a self-defense. I'm not going to just go up to. So you wouldn't just go smack somebody? Mm -mm. I mean. <laughs> in a relationship. In a relationship. Um, are you the. I'm not, I'm not, I am not the aggressor, no. Okay. But I'm normally the person who has to defend myself. Not but, anymore. Well, no, not anymore, but, yeah. you know, I, yeah. in the past I had to So have y'all, y'all have boom bops, a couple of your boyfriends? I've had one relationship um, where I, I put my hands on him and Hit it was piece and biscuit. fully justified in every instance you hit him with the two piece and the yeah but only after he hit me like I, I went after him with a bat once oh, but he had cracked my head open on a wall yeah like you know there there was one time he threw me into the middle of the street and that that was a full out fist fight like I, I had been through that when I was younger and I always mm -hmm. promised myself no man is ever going to touch me like that again no man is ever going to put his hands on me like that again and and granted my response still was not the right one but yes, when that happened yeah, I'm going to fuck you up. That's it. You know what I mean. It is what it is yeah. at that point. After we swing, we're swinging. Like, yeah, like, if you touch me, I'm going to touch you back. We do not condone domestic violence. No. Uh, I, I do condone self-defense, though. Or we would, will we ever, but it's very rare. Like, it's really rare to see a man come forward and say, she's been beating the shit out of me. Because I think I think a lot of men aren't taken seriously or it becomes an instant joke. Like, oh, you pussy, you can't take that kind of, you yeah, know, because some men were really attack the masculinity. Women, mm -hmm. So they'll really... That makes me so uncomfortable. There's a lot of men that'll take it. A woman hit a man and he just sits there and just like, I'm yeah. not saying like he should kick her ass or nothing like that, but it makes me want to punch her like or grab her like bitch. What? Yeah, this like is get the fuck off doing. of him. Like, yeah. Stop doing that because you. I feel I feel like women do that to men mm -hmm. that they know are not gonna hit them back. Mm -hmm. Remember that guy that um got popped in the face on um was it TikTok? For what? The, the baby mom just hit him. He was on on the. Thing and he was singing. Oh, the heavy set jump that yeah, was uh. She just popped him. He she, got. He, he, he got. got I feel like we see videos like that a lot, though. I see where yeah. it's like these relationship, you know, like the boyfriend, girlfriend sitting there and the chick hits him, whether it's while he's driving or there. And she'll grip him up and she'll do like what the what makes you think that that's any more OK? Because she probably knows that it's one of them type of guys that's not going to hit, hit them back. So, But it doesn't make it OK. It's not OK, but that's probably that's why most punk ass bitches do shit like mm -hmm. that because yeah. they know they're not going to get hit back. And then the second he balls up and hits you back, then I'm it's going to be like, oh my god! Yeah. I'm calling the police! Somebody call 911. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be that kind of situation. Call the never hit me, Jody! <laughs> I kind of feel like that's that's how Amber Heard was. Not yeah. that he ever hit her back, but I just, I feel like that's when he got the balls to leave. She, oh, fine, then I'm going to say this I'm and say that you. yeah i think that should have super yeah yep. i'm gonna ruin you and right now we are in saturn retrograde mm. so that is it's good. karma time it's karma time you know it's what karma I mean? time quick hopefully you got good karma i'm wishing you all good karma because that's I what want, i'm I want, getting I want good yeah karma, but i know some people need bad ones yeah but we'll leave yeah. that up to karma to do that's that. up to the universe right dispense Ooh. as you need to okay <laughs> So Monique and DL Hughley have been getting oh, into it. Like she's crazy. she's making herself look bad. She's she tarnishing is. her legacy. She is. Like yeah. why are you doing like it seems like every time Ms. she Ms. Parker, gets a you're shot, fucking up. Stop it. She gets a shot. Fifty just put her on. Mm -hmm. Why are you going back and forth with mm -hmm. DL Hughley? Knowing that he he's known for his fucking receipts. But mm -hmm. then she makes you feel like like she still loves you. She's like, Auntie I don't Lizzie, understand. She's a female narcissist. I you. think she might be. I think she might be. I want to still work with her. Because I know, like, I she know had. Too, but Monique, hey, you better get it together. Like, she <laughs> fell off with Tyler Perry. She fell off with Oprah. But, like, I don't understand what all of these situations Those were. were <laughs> like, I don't know what happened with any of this. I just know everybody's like, she's beefing she's with everybody blacklisted. and she's blacklisted. Yeah. She was yeah. Blacklisted. But, like,. I don't know what happened. Can y'all fill me in? Because I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember, but I know it was once. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember I what that, happened. I know that I... Tyler Perry and Oprah are, are like this. 
Uh huh. They had a, something to do with a Netflix. Yeah, series she got like okay. She wasn't able to record for Netflix. Yeah. And they wouldn't work with her apparently because of something I guess solitary or an open message threat or something like that. Yeah. Okay. She's, she's been blackballed before, but she redeemed herself and she came back and we still were seeing people work with her. And now she's making it hard again. It's like she's burning on her bridges. Yeah. It's, it seems like she's holding on to that kings and queens of comedy thing. That was w- like 92. Yeah. Like was a she, long she's time ago. It wasn't 92. The, the I'm exaggerating. I'm it, it was not. It was like not. No. Nah, women kings, not getting paid was it 90s? I think that was 90s. When did kings and queens of comedy happen? I feel, it, it, up? I feel if like it was 2000s, it was early matter 2000s. Matter of fact, it had to be, I think it was early 2000s. Yeah, I think it was. It was early 2000s, I think. I don't know. Or maybe like late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. I remember like. 99 to 2000. From the 99 <laughs> to the 2000. January of 01. January of 01, okay. Um, I knew it was something because I remember when he had that orange outfit on. That's when she mm-hmm. still had some weight on her. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope she fixes it. She's ruining her legacy. Yeah, like, yeah. people just are not going to want to deal with her and deal They're with her making, attitude. Like it's making it seem like she's difficult to work with. Yes. Yeah. And I don't like it when people label like label like that. The same thing happened to Aunt Viv from mm-hmm. um, Fresh Prince. They mm-hmm. said she was difficult to work with. Mm-hmm. Like, what does that mean? And be, you know just I mean? because you had one bad experience with her doesn't mean the next show or the next movie will. What? So, quick question. So, the new Fresh Prince of Bel Air, this is a sidebar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They switched out the Aunt Viv on that one, too. Did uh-huh. they? Don't tell me nothing else because I didn't even get the Listen, I, 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 I seen an spoiler article alert. that they switched her, the, 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 the dark skinned woman, I, forget, mm-hmm. I don't know what her name is, but they put Paula Patton. Uh-uh. Yes, I'll I never see watch. I, no, I don't know if it's true or no. not. But I, I don't know. It might. It might be some type of. That has to be a rumor. We're gonna. That's we're gonna need to confirm rumor, that. Don't take our gonna, word. That's gonna ruin everything for me. I'm. N- I'll never watch it again. That's fucked up. I wonder if they did that to intentionally follow like what happened in the original. Hillary. That's my girl. She's so pretty. <laughs> She's beautiful. But this new one with with DL Hughley, like, I I read his receipts. Here it is. Entertainment actress Paula Patton will play Aunt Vivian on season two of Bel Air. Kanye West has pulled out the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival where he was. Oh, they kind of went into something else. I was yeah. about to say, what the hell I got to do with Aunt Viv? <laughs> so, I was reading too much, but yeah. It, that's from Entertainment. Yeah, so. Mm. I won't be watching season two. I don't know why no. they did that. If, no. it, if it's supposed to be a spinoff like, or something new for this generation, why are they adding the past? Will Smith didn't so learn his lesson from doing it the first time. Oh, mm. my God. Like, why mm. are you doing Apparently that? Apparently not. And, she, and the one girl, she's a, not, she's a good That's actress. why I'm wondering, like, was she, it she, intentional? She, 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 I, love, I, I love the original cast. That yeah. That they cast. yeah. I hate I hate recasting for shows. Like, either They're just kill the character off. To them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I. I can't stand that. But, yeah, the D.L. Hughley, I read the receipts that he had. Mm -hmm. And here was my thing. I don't understand because we are in that industry. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why he was beefing with, why (laughs) she was beefing with him at all. I don't like it. Don't start sneezing and coughing. Yeah, it's the fan. (laughs) And that Lysol that you sprayed everywhere. You're going to pass the sneezes on to Look, I got it. <laughs> it's coming down the line. It's Sorry, happening. Guys. Lo siento. But like from from our perspective, we're in that industry and when no, he put I'm those strange. receipts up and he said like, you know, this is the line and he showed everything. I don't even understand why she was approaching him directly with this beef in the first place. That was a management issue. That was a promoter issue. My thing is it was unprofessional altogether. Completely. Was. Completely. Everybody didn't need to know that issue. And it's crazy because they did the Kings and the Queens of Comedy. So my thing is, why did you, like, and I, I got mad love for DL. Why didn't you just go to his room and be like, yo, or call him afterwards. Be like, yo, why you did, why you do that? Why mm-hmm. didn't you, why couldn't you guys mm-hmm. have a conversation? I hate Don't seeing grown-ass adults fight on Facebook. And everybody else in y'all business unnecessarily so. Mm-hmm. I, I hate seeing grown adults fight on Facebook. Uh, it's, like, it's everything tacky. does not have to be addressed publicly. If you really felt some type of way, you should have, especially because I'm sure you guys know each other on a personal level, you should have just sat down and talked to him directly. People talk like about shit publicly. 
People talk about shit publicly but won't address it in private. And I think that that's weird. Yeah. And also, you know what else is weird to me? I posted about it this week. Um, people who just take on beef that belongs to somebody else. Mm-hmm. I think that's super corny. It is. Mm-hmm. I kinda, Give me an example. Um. Okay, so um, let's say I went out. I went out this past weekend. I thought it was going to be a real one. This is real. Oh, okay. I went out this past weekend and... Um, I saw somebody I knew, mm-hmm. hugged her, dressed her, whatever, and her friend like said it something like something along the lines of, "Oh, I hate when you do that. Like you're always we don't like her." And what? I look, I said, "Huh? We don't like you. Yeah. Who the we're fuck not, is this? We're not talking about you." Oh, okay. Clearly you were. Clearly you were, bitch. No, we, it was in, and that's the thing. It was in a crowded ass bar. So we're not talking about, okay. Clearly you don't want no smoke. You didn't come to me and say, I don't like you because, no, oh. you don't like me because of something that you may have heard about me. Which is weird to me. Like, how you don't like that's me because so of what weird. somebody else, but that person won't even fucking check me. I promise. That's on some weird shit. Okay. My mic was off the whole time. Yeah, that's Did fucking, it just go? that's wild crazy to me. Like, I think that it's corny. Yeah, I think that's, that's childish for one. It, it's the same as like, you know, you walk into a room, two girls will look at you and be like, I don't know, I think it's don't awful. Do oh, we're not talking about you. And yes, you know the what? fuck you are. You know what's wild? It's like, I wanted to immediately like, but mm-hmm. I'm like, I can't do that anymore. Like, because yeah. you know what? It, there's going to be so many people. You never know who's watching. You never know who's in that room that knows your Hollywood. And, you know, and it's. You know what I mean? Like, oh, well, she did. People lie every fucking day. Yeah. Y'all dummies fall for it yeah. every single time. Like, Unless you were there and witnessed it just. Exactly. And even if you, at the end of the day, is it your business? Yeah. Is it your business? Ask yourself, is it your business? And then worry about yourself. Mm-hmm. That's what sounds mm-hmm. great to me. I, I can understand if, like, like if, if we were out someplace and you had beef with somebody, we all got beef. I don't even have to know the person. That's what it is. See, but... But I'm not then going to walk up to that person and have any kind of words or conversation or act like, oh, well, you know, we weren't talking... No, we got problems. I can kind of... You know? And that's the thing. I get it. Like, if we're... If we come together... Yeah. And and you tell me, like, yo, potential problem. Yeah. This place, that place. I'll be like, all right, whatever. I'm on guard. Like, but for me to be like, oh, well, she but we don't need to instigate you. it. Oh, we hate her. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if we got to fight, we can fight. Right. Because some Cause of y'all hate people over dumbass reasons. Yes. I think that's just weird. Yes. It'll but be like, she whatever. liked my inst- my boyfriend's Instagram post four years ago. That's the shit they get mad about. But instead of addressing it, you, you're petty. I don't know mm-hmm. if my mic is on or not, but it keeps on falling down. <laughs> there is um, so many. She got the limp dick mic today. Yeah, like, you're petty, like. <laughs> Just, just be, be a woman and address it. You know so what I'm many saying? Things, yeah, a lot of problems could be fixed like that. Yeah, yeah. that way. Like, yeah. you, just, you might not like, like the outcome, but I guarantee you, I you, think we you live feel in, much better addressing it. We live in a world now where it's like everybody's afraid of confrontation, but very confrontational at the same time. They're confrontational over social media. They're conf- confrontational in subliminal ways, mm-hmm. but they're not ones to actually have the balls to come up and be in that confrontation face to face that's because a lot of people lack the intellect they lacked like they can't carry a conversation but yeah you say something shitty you communication push their buttons, skills like you know what yeah. I mean? to the point where they just explode that's mm-hmm. when they just mm-hmm. i don't know what else to do so let me just mm-hmm. pull you know what i mean i'm just gonna hit them like it's because they th- social media keeps you from learning actual social skills so when you're in True. you don't know how to communicate True. correctly you don't know how to express yourself correctly without sitting there and thinking about what do i want to type for 10 minutes <laughs> like you know what i mean <laughs> like it's i feel like it's that kind of mentality like what am i what can i do in this moment if i don't know how to communicate appropriately that's what i have been doing too i definitely took a break from social media good mm-hmm. like i hate social one. media you do? I need to take. A I break. really do. I need to take a break too because I'm gonna end up going to jail. It's self care. I really care post. Yeah. I really yeah. Is. It's yeah. Self-care. I'm much happier when I don't. Yeah. Read I was the told. I was to told me. the other day that somebody's watching my page and. Yeah. Well, a lot watching of people are what? watching your page. No, they no. Somebody like that anything. doesn't like me is like watching my page. That's and weird. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's fan behavior. Fans. 
We like, call those Maddies. What the fuck are you mad for, Maddie? You, you mad. You mad. <laughs> Shout out to Claude. I'm Claude happy. His curly teeth. Oh. <laughs> I love I do too. You don't ever have to make a rap song ever again. Like, I just love his yes, personality. Just the tip was a classic. So, mm. I used what to else happened, him. guys? What's going on? Okay, so <clears throat> we gotta oh. yeah yeah Michael Blackson yeah Michael Blackson the comedian yeah he's fucking hilarious mm-hmm. I will say that he's hilarious but his personal life is just a little bit misunderstood I mean what they eat don't make us shit but apparently this is what happened right so he did um, an interview where he said that basically they're into polygamy him and his girlfriend mm-hmm. so. He can fuck as many bitches as he wants to. But she can't. She can she can she have can sex fuck with as many females. Bitches. But she cannot have sex with men. The double standard. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Why? Because like that's it. not a polyamorous relationship. You can't you can't put rules on a poly relationship. No, I th- I think you it can. Them, not so. not not like that. If, if yeah, one, not like if that. If one doesn't agree yeah. on the on the standards of the relationship, then it's not gonna work. Eventually, I mean, she's gonna she's gonna dip. I she can't get the other I don't dip. Know. I, don't I don't think, think she, she is. is. She's a kept yeah. woman at this point. She's she's kept at this point. Well, I yeah, because he got money. Yeah, I, I think anytime you're money. in anytime you're in an open relation as some form, because polygamy is just another form of an open relationship. I think anytime you're in that, there has to be rules. There has to be certain standards Structure. and boundaries that you set. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they have to make sense. I was in an open relationship before. I, however, was monogamous in this open relationship. Was so, that because if you stepped out in the open relationship, it would have been a problem? It would have been a problem. No, because we had rules about not finding out. Like, do like, don't ever let me hear about it. Don't ever let me see it. Like, we had rules about it. I'm just not that type. I agreed to it because we had already been together for so long. We had gone through things. We were in, like, a different weird phase, and we decided to try the open relationship thing at that point. That was beneficial for him. He had wild oats to sow. He was, you know, fresh out after four years, and yeah. he just he, he needed his best life. he needed to get he wasn't ready to like settle down and things like that. But I'm just not the type. If I'm fucking you, I'm fucking you. Right. I don't want mm-hmm. to be sleeping with anybody else. I'm not interested in it. Like if I want to have sex with you, it's because I want to have sex with you. And I'm just I'm turned so off to open anybody else. Relationships are not for you. They're not for me. What about you? No. Like yeah, it? I could do. I could do open relationship. Yeah, I could. I couldn't do it. I could. Yeah. I could definitely do one. I don't think I. I. Want I, I could share. You could um, share. I could. I could share with the, um, another. Um, I call bullshit. I could. If we all had understanding, I, I definitely could share another female. Oh. Um, but it's not to the point where I want her living in the house, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Like. I couldn't do that. But. I feel like it's a slippery slope because inevitably that other person, whether you know it's it's I'm one lying. or I'm two or three, exactly. I feel, yeah, you, yeah, I think, I think you would I too. I'm would. glad you said it because I told you I called bullshit. I, I, yeah, I think, yeah. It's I think it's just a slippery slope because even though you're saying we're in this relationship and we're still committed to each other, that other person could have other plans and they could be very much emotionally attached to your yeah. man. And that kinda, gets it can get very messy. I was no, kind I was kind of yeah. in an open relationship against my will. I didn't know that happens sometimes. They're just called that, cheaters. Yeah. Well, he was yeah, but he was living with me, so yeah. It gets complicated. It was it was kind of You inadvertently got added to an open relationship. I yeah. I got added to one, but it wasn't on so her, you thought you were so monogamous. So on her end, it wasn't an open relationship, but what I don't know what the fuck it was. It was weird as fuck. He was being a hoe. That's what it sounds like. Sounds like he was too. having his cake and eating that, it too. I think that's that double standard. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I think that it's wrong. But like I said again, if she's okay with it and she, it I mean, seemed like she was all right because she was blink with twice me. if you're not okay. <laughs> like, for real. I think she's okay. Like she's fine with it. So who yeah. the fuck? You know, what I mean, I'm not anybody to tell you how to live your life, but it looks like a control mechanism, honestly. Yeah. It is. It looks yeah. controlling, but you know, he's also African, and I know, I have people who I know that have married into the African culture, and sometimes they're a little controlling. And Just I think the standards bit, like, they have, can be they different have too. Standards and they're they're kind of yeah. high. Yeah, the you standards I mean? are so different. He said what he said, and she's okay with it. I it wouldn't be me. Mm-mm. 
I just don't. I mean, I'm, I just can't find. I can't Show find. Show me your dimple. <laughs> <laughs> it might be me. It might be me. I'm not gonna hold you. Like if you told me that. I can't wear her. If you, you know, yeah, you're right. I'm not gonna hold. I can't wear her. Oh, I'm she's sorry. <laughs> I had she's a not. moment. I just, <laughs> she's not. I just, I think that if you're going to be in that type of, it has to be equal. So if you're able to step out of the relationship in whatever way you choose to, then I'm allowed to do the same. <laughs> what I choose to do with that is up to me. But I, you know, I don't like that he's I like, well, you can't go have sex with a like, man. Why don't you want it to be exclusive? Like, what's for me is for me. It's not for everybody else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's just how I feel. I'm like it. a kid in the in the like the mine. sandbox. I'm yeah, like, like I'm the greedy mine. little kid. Mine. Like that's my mine. toy. Yeah. I'm not Nemo? sharing. Yeah. <laughs> Finding Nemo. Yeah. Mine. 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 Yep. I mm-hmm. want to I want to do tricks with you and swing all around and The trick is to swing over on somebody else's pole. That's the trick in those relationships. Yeah. I'm not with no, you. not not I don't want to do that part. I just want one for myself, pole for myself. Yeah. Yeah, you I want agree. to pull on some toy snacks. <laughs> little you know equal opportunity it is, <laughs> it is so fun. ladies what about the fupas for the summer i see a lot of oh yeah I see a tell lot us of about this about, you know uh guys talking about us ladies that have the fupas and um, fupas. we gonna talk about fupa? who's talking about fupa? well i've seen some posts on on social media um on my feed and guys are actually coming at women who have fupas for what saying that you know this is going to be you all summer tucking your stomach in your pants i have a problem with the fact that men are Where am so I supposed comfortable to tuck it? discussing <laughs> women's bodies first of all because it's like uh, if we want to be honest like natural bodies weren't good enough for everybody started getting their body done now all of a sudden oh everybody looks the same mm-hmm. bring back natural bodies okay so these are natural bodies oh she so got stretch marks mm-hmm. a real man is gonna kiss all over them stretch marks mm-hmm. 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 a real man is gonna accept you the way that you are at Don't the end of the day pupas are acceptable because there is some good pussy under there okay yes but understand you- please understand and that's why god made the forearm because forearms yeah. go up, up and un- there we go you that's know it. get the fuck that's Thanks it. to Jesus. And it's a good pillow, too. Comfy. It, it it's is. warm in the it winter is. time. It is. I'm here for the fupas. I love fupas. And a lot of y'all got fupas with a little bit of dick underneath. You mm-hmm. need to focus on yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Michael Diggies. But that's my thing with it. You don't hear... I mean, granted, you know, women can definitely be rough on men. We can be judgmental of you guys. But the one thing you don't usually hear is a lot of body shaming coming from women towards men. We don't sit there and talk about your beer belly. We don't talk about your bald head. We don't talk about your chicken legs. We don't talk about the unshaved, unkeptness <laughs> oh, no, of no, your no, ball no. sack. Listen, you right there. I was going to say, I was, that caught, one I I was caught a body shamer this week. We because talk about little lips. We talk about no We talk we about bow legs. legs. We talk about. But you talk about that you like them. You're not shaming no, 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 somebody no, no. that. Guys who have little lips, what? Oh, thin lips. Thin lips. I got blocked on social media by the by thin thin lips. What? She, she be body shaming. No, I don't. You body shamed the boys. I did not body shame. I said I I think that men that have thin lips are weird. They're sneaky. Like they have there's some they're just weird. They have like sneaky uh, look. They always have that sneaky look on like when they maybe smile. That's my problem. I like little lips. When they smile like this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't that look creepy and weird and sneaky? Yes. See? Yes, it did. <laughs> See? That's not what they look like. Yes, no. it is. But that's a personal preference. I don't it's hear anybody preference. else on online, like, you know, Ooh. talking shit about that. But you should have seen when I posted that all the guys they that were did. mad at me. They did. They yeah. were mad. But then if those men went out and got that's some bullying. lip fillers. It's not bullying. It no, was... but I have a question for you guys because this <laughs> yeah. week there was also a rapper who got his body done. Got the BBL. He I saw it. it. I saw it. It if, was um it, Bando. Bando. No, it was. Yeah, it's on the page. We'll he have got, to take a look. He got lipo. It's bad. It looked like he got lipo. So now instead of having his dad bod, he has like abs. Oh, mm-hmm. Wow. It looks good. His arms don't match. It's the same way when girls get their butts done and the thighs don't match. You can't have that six pack and no biceps. Yeah, it looks weird. It looks weird. So let's I didn't see his arms. I just looked at the. I looked they were the like, feet. they look like mine. <laughs> 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 they did. But his stomach looked good. Like, so would you guys date a man who got his body done? 
I'd be concerned about your self esteem. Cause well, that's maybe, not a I mean, behavior. I know there's, there's a lot of guys. Can you hear me? I'm, okay. Yeah, you're I know, I know there's a lot of guys that, um, were heavier mm -hmm. and lost a lot of weight and they have like the extra skin and stuff like that. So they go get their, their body done. They go get it. But that's just recon that's reconstructive. Like that's normal because when you have all that extra skin, you can get rashes. You can have like actual health issues mm -hmm. from that extra skin when you've like had gastric bypass or something. We, I used to do that in the OR t all the time. We would just be cutting off extra skin to a tummy tuck. Mm -hmm. It's because it, it's unsanitary. They'll get infections and all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff. That I totally understand. Totally get that. But if you just don't diet, and you don't do anything to take care of yourself and then just wake up and you're like, I'm just gonna go get a BBL. I'm not fucking I, with Ken. I'm not doing it. Ken? Barbie and Ken. I'm not oh. doing it. You missed that conversation last Barbie we and Ken. We didn't talk about that last week. We year. didn't talk about we it! We did not. What? Oh, the Barbie doll for, um, yes. for Laverne Cox? Yes. What about it? I'm very excited. So it says th it says that she came out with a transgender Barbie doll. It is Pride Month, by yes. the way. Yes, yes, it is. It Happy is Pride, Pride Month. Month. But we were kind of confused because Barbie and Ken don't have They don't have stuff. genitals. So how is it a transgender? I'm confused. I want to look. I want to see. Dog. I'm going to be that little kid that's going to get the what? doll and take all that, the clothes off. That, I understand what you're talking about because Barbie and Ken, they really, see, they but don't you, have genitals. you know what, though? Yes, they do. They have body parts. He has Ken pecs. Has pecs. Barbie has boobies. Yeah, but there's so the then transgender part because Laverne Cox already has I boobies. I need someone to make it make sense. So yeah. is she is she just has a Laverne Cox with boobies? I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. It's, it's confusing. I think, yeah, I'm a little confused by. It. I think it's I think awesome though. I'm a, I like it Laverne awesome. Cox. Yeah. I think I she's great. She's awesome. Yeah, she's, so she's great. Um, but I don't. I I don't know. I'm just a little confused. Yeah, as soon as that's like asking me what came first, the chicken or the egg. I don't know, it, but I like. They it. both have butts. They both good. They both have a butt crack, but they just don't have parts down there. Well, maybe Unless, we should go support and buy one. And I see. think we yes, should because I want to look up the skirt. Okay. I do. But well, we could just go there and just look up the skirt. No. They're usually in boxes. One. Yeah, we should buy one. We okay, should okay, patron we'll it one. because okay, that, we'll I, I think that's amazing. I think it's wonderful that they're that they've everybody had it. Is, yeah. I like that they represent everybody because people are different. Mm -hmm. Barbie and Ken should not just look like one person. Yeah. yeah they like they shouldn't. come in and different shapes been, and sizes. Yeah. They and, have been. Yeah. yeah. You know what I saw the other day that made my heart smile. I was at the mall and this little um, this little white girl was carrying a black baby doll and mm. she had a grip so tight around the neck like she was walking with her baby. Mm -hmm. like, I was like, oh, I love mm -hmm. seeing stuff Why like she that. I do tell. Neck like that though. She was. Let me she was like, I just. <laughs> she was like two. I'm just playing. She was like two and she was carrying her baby like couldn't nobody touch her baby. Uh -huh. like, like, I love it. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I love it when it's like that. Yeah, it was. That's sweet. how it's supposed Babies to be though. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, Oh yes, let's see what else we got here. So she, oh, mm hmm. The uh, your meme that you have screenshotted the taste in men. Oh, um. So there was a uh, post that somebody had shared. It said, "Y'all, women rejected men who would have made you their wife for a man that made you a single mother. Stop saying men are trash. It's your taste in men that is trash." we're gonna unpack this one <laughs> well the thing about it is our choice in men sometimes is trash sometimes it is us like i'm not gonna mm -hmm. sit here and say that it's not you can't say that every man's not shit when you, you keep picking from the same type of men mm -hmm. at some point you gotta sit down and ask yourself what the fuck is it that i'm looking for mm -hmm. In the same type of person, which is why I I know myself, me personally, I will never date another man from the streets again. And it was it's wild because I just got on here a few weeks ago and was like, I want a reformed thug. The ver it's it's like, the reform part is key. He's not reform, in the streets yeah. anymore. <laughs> yeah, but reform. you need to be a little tough. I, it was I, I need that edge. Cringy, you know what I mean? I just I don't know. It's it's all bad. So my thing is um on that same meme. Is somebody saying uh -huh. something? On that same meme. <laughs> So, um, but yet and still, men that make these posts are not husbands, but they are men who left women they have a child to, and we're are not going to talk about that. I mean, it's, it's facts, because men always coming at women on social media talking about how our d 
decisions are trash, blah, blah, blah. But they're constantly making posts like this, but they're not married. But do you not believe that women hold the power in changing this entire narrative? Mm -hmm. We do. I think one of the biggest problems is, and this isn't just us as women. I, I think this is just a people thing. We want so badly to believe that a person is who we think they are. Mm -hmm. Or we can make them be a better person. So then when you see the red flags, and you do see them early on, we ignore them. We brush them off. Oh, it was just a bad day. It was a bad mood. It was a bad moment. And then we keep going and keep going in these relationships. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's also the situations where we go into it and there aren't any red flags. And this man is presenting us with the perfect picture. And in six months, a year into it. We're bored. Uh, well, or a switch flips in him and you start to see the true colors. It's not that we're picking trash. It's that we're picking what we're seeing and being presented when with. I, and, and, and that's not reality. And a lot of the times men or boys put on a facade. Mm -hmm. They act like it's they, the honeymoon act, they act like there's something that we want. They're act they're, mm -hmm. they're acting. They're good actors. And then once they get comfortable they start showing their true colors, mm -hmm. and then they got the nerve to say, we picked the trash. See, If you was real from the trash. gate, then See, we would but, know. But mm -hmm. I feel like people only treat us the way that we allow them to. Mm -hmm. It's up to us to recognize red flags. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of women suppress red flags because we fall in love with the fantasy of what we see. Like, every woman does that. I don't care mm -hmm. what yes. you say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You meet somebody, you're like, oh, my God, you fall in love with everything that you guys could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, like you guys said, they might start showing you something different. And if you hold on to the fact of what he could be what and all the potential be, yep. that he has, if he's not meeting that, let mm -hmm. him know, sis. Let like, him just go. let him know. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's way easier yeah. said than it is done, though. I mm -hmm. think we sit in the back of our heads, though, at the same time, and we can be telling ourselves, like, let him go, let him go. But then we're like, okay, we'll just give him another week. Maybe it'll get big. You know, give him another month. Give, give him a chance to show me change. And the next thing you know, you've wasted a year or two or three or, you know, and it's so far down the road that you feel like, oh, I don't want to start over now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to go back into the dating world. And then you end up settling in this shit relationship. And you're settling while he's out there fucking some other bitch. Mm, I allegedly. mean, sometimes. Allegedly. But I'm there's. Just, I'm just saying allegedly. There's also, I think, a lot of men that are faithful and still just kind of suck. See, but yeah, you know true. what's wild? I will. I do. I. It might be a little right because I know I can speak for myself. Like. I did date the same kind of guys for a long time. And mm -hmm. there are nice guys who really would come to me like good-ass men, and I would talk myself out of them. Mm -hmm. I had to sit down and ask myself, why do you keep talking yourself out of good men? Mm -hmm. But to me, if it's not right, it's not right. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to force myself to like you because you're a good man. You mm -hmm. might be a perfect man, but you might be a perfect man for somebody else. Somebody else. You yeah. know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, I can't force chemistry. Mm -hmm. If it's not there, it's not there. I feel like I just haven't met my person yet. Yeah. I saw this thing the other day that said, um, you are the whole package. You just got delivered to the wrong doorstep. Aww. Facts. Put me next door. You know, I think that's yeah. just what it, you, and as, it's true because that's all the times shame. you get people and they're like, oh, he's a great guy. He's this, but there's just not that spark. It's just not, you just know in your gut that that's not your person. Just like when they take so, weird pictures. It's almost like why good girls like chase bad boys. Why do good girls? I, I figured it yeah. out. Why? I figured it out. So, because I think we talked about this the other week. I don't think you were here. I think I talked about with, when Billy was on. Um, I have this theory now. So, one in three women, like we were talking about earlier, one in three women has experienced some sort of domestic violence in their life. We talked about on a show before, one in oh, three yeah, women experience um, some sort of sexual abuse or, or something as mm -hmm. a child. Mm -hmm carry that into they carry that you we when you go through something like that you, you're going to carry that into your adulthood mm -hmm. so the next thing you know you're an adult looking at this man that looks a little bit dangerous but in your mind that danger is exciting it's not exciting it's, it's a protection. false sense of safety yep he's he can protect me mm -hmm. look at him out here fighting motherfuckers he'll keep me safe mm -hmm. It gives you a false sense of security to date that bad boy because he... Not knowing it, that you're putting yourself in Exactly. Yep. He makes you feel protected in a way that you didn't feel Get out of my earlier diary. in your life. I'm telling you, I have a theory. I figured it out. I figured it out. And I think that's true, too. It is. That I think it is. very accurate. Yeah. I think it's just that it's that 
false sense of safety that they give you and it's something I think a lot of women yearn for mm-hmm. we yearn like, to just feel safe yeah. yeah and that's just like how certain people that have traumas go mm-hmm. looking for healing in other people mm-hmm. but end up damaging that person or mm-hmm. end up attracting because you can't you can't find people. your healing yeah. in anyone else that's not mm-hmm. how that works. You can you have to find that in yourself. It took mm-hmm. me a long time to realize that I couldn't fix people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I have that by nature. Like, I want to fix You're other a fixer, people's yeah. problems. You know what I mean? If you come to me with a problem, I'm going to try to help mm-hmm. you fix it. Mm-hmm. And some people feed on that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which is like like leeches. For yeah. Because like darkness is attracted that. to light. Yes. You know what I always think, yeah. though? I've always thought, you know, the universe puts us in people's paths for a reason, whether Mm -hmm. it's temporary or long term. Even though that person might have used you or taken advantage of that kindness, Mm -hmm. in that moment, the universe knew that person needed that Mm -hmm. and put you in their life, not not for your sake, but because they needed that. So regardless, the sake of you would be your lesson from it. Mm -hmm. But just like the universe is sending you somebody that you need, there's also the universe has people that you don't need Mm -hmm. and they send them there. They're they're there to to teach you the lessons. The people that, the thing on my Instagram, it says God doesn't give you what you want. He gives you what you need Mm -hmm. to help you live, to help you learn, to help you grow. You know, and I think that's very true. Not everything in life is going to be positive, but there's a reason for it. Right. You know, we're supposed to grow from, we're supposed to learn that lesson. Some, we've all been through, all, all been of through us, some we've shit. talked outside of here, you know what I mean? We've all been yeah. through traumatic shit, but I feel like there is a, is a blessing in every lesson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every really one of is. us. But when you know better, you do better. Mm-hmm. Yes. So mm-hmm. to those women out there that are having a situation, Just, you'll learn it. Sit down and yeah. make it quiet in a room and figure out the mm-hmm. life. Yes. Sit, sit with yourself in your mind. Sometimes I think people are afraid of that. We distract ourselves with things. We distract ourselves with social media and this and that and Netflix and Sit, sit in a quiet space and get in your head and really start to learn you. Once mm-hmm. you learn you, everything else will fall in place. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. Hell yeah. Everything else. Makes it easy, though. Yep. Meditation helps. Yep. Well, ladies, I think we are, we're at an hour, aren't we? No? 56. Oh, we got, oh, we got a time for one more topic. Let's mm-hmm. see. <laughs> Can we talk about this? Did you guys see this? I don't know if you saw it on social media or not this week, but apparently, like, this lady was trying to pay for her daughter's prom dress, mm-hmm. and she didn't have the money. So what she did was she gave her mother's ashes as collateral. And what? Then, and then, sis stopped responding to messages. So the designer came up and was like, yo, I don't like broadcasting shit, but she was like, I need somebody to come get these ashes. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> "Oh my god, <laughs> she still has that." Wow. So what I don't understand how's that. Though? How is that collateral? That's somebody's so body in there. She made. Yeah, but it has no dress. worth. It's a. It's her mother's ashes. Yeah, but like, like it has no financial worth. Financial worth, it's not. But to her, like, it's I got your mom's ashes. Come get them. Yeah. You gonna leave me with your mom's ashes? Absolutely not. I'm gonna give you whatever for my mom. She obviously didn't give a fuck about her mom that she was willing to bargain those ashes in the first place Clearly. so that should that's red flag number one but usually collateral is something of worth like let me hold your watch Sentimental or let me they, yeah, that's all that's that was but I'm not if we're doing a collateral situation it you're getting zero product down. you're getting zero product until I have my money like so since we're talking about ashes what oh. about the lady that got arrested for dumping that's the, what she fucking gets the boyfriend's ashes mom's in the lake i thought that was a skit it wasn't no, she got arrested really she, yeah she dumped why Wait, so she this he girl her, yeah right? she caught she caught the guy cheating on her she grabbed his mother's ashes she went to a bridge over a river and filmed herself throwing the ashes and the whole urn into the water she got arrested for it it's desecration of, of a body. A corpse. He called the cops? Mm-hmm. And he should have. I'm sorry, I don't feel bad for that. You can't take that back. No, his mom's You can't ever somewhere. take that back. I, I don't care if you key his car, if you slash his tire. I don't give a fuck what dumbass revenge you feel the need to get. You can't take it back by spilling. He's never going to get his mother's ashes ever again. You can't replace that. She and anybody like, that's lost a parent or gone through something like that, you know, like, I would I would have stabbed that the, bitch. What if he was fucking her sister? I don't think there's any level of fucking, fucking that warrants that. 
I don't think there's any no. level of fucking that so warrants that. Then fight them, fight them, beat yeah. them up, do something. Ke- but like I said, key to the car, car, slash, slash the type. Hey, I'm fine. Still have my you mom. I still got my mom. Yeah, in you can't come back from there. that. Yeah, you you can. can't take that back. I don't think she wanted to be with him anyway. If she did that, I don't know. She couldn't have. But she was crying in that mugshot, so mm-hmm. she definitely regretted doing something. I just think there's certain things like I understand like being upset and wanting to get revenge or wanting to get some sort of payback. Just don't do yes. Out of respect yes. For the dead. And that's just one of those things you can't ever take People that back. People just don't care anymore. They really don't. They have no clue. Mm-hmm. Like it, this de- I don't mm-hmm. know where these people came. I think they came out the crack in Mars or something. There's no home training. How they got here, I don't know. But no home training. No home training. But, I mean, it's cool to be toxic and stuff like that now, you know? Could, could you imagine? I can't imagine any of us ever being Ooh, mad enough to do that. I wouldn't want to. I don't want to touch you. I anyway. mean, I mean, I, I might about stab you. I might, you know I, what I mean. But I, I'm not throwing your mom's ashes not, in the I lake. I would not cross that line. The ashes. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I'm not. I said I thought about it. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah, but the act to me is more disrespectful. Yeah. Than ashes. My thing is, I, no, I wouldn't do it. But I don't. I, of course, I would never condone it either. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I don't condone cheating either. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. People cheat on people, and they don't understand the effect that it has on yes. you. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that it takes an emotional nuts. effect on you. Yeah. Like, she now probably, you're... She probably she can't probably, get off. Yeah, and then it's like, people... I feel like he... I can't... I'm not going to make excuses for that girl, but... Mm-hmm. Cheaters in general, I feel like they don't understand the like I said the toll that it takes mm-hmm. on, yeah. like, on your mental. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you can't get that back sometimes. Yeah, so she's probably really distraught. Like that was, I guess, I, yeah, that you was know, probably the only thing she thought. Somebody. She, she probably wanted to hurt him as bad as she was hurting, and that's probably the only thing that he ever yeah. gave a fuck about. Yeah, that's probably. the only thing that most men yeah, give a fuck true. about their moms or their nannas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. I just. I, I don't, I just think, I don't know, it, no, my moral women. compass says I, you don't ever do some I, shit I, I like that. Ever, I still I wouldn't would do never, that. You don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah. I wouldn't even want to touch it. I don't want that. But I've body. also always been the type where, like, if you're going to cheat, yes, my heart is going to be broken. We've all experienced heartbreak in one way, shape, or form or another, and you know damn well that you will be okay. Yeah. You will be okay. Hurts, you will get, like, it hurts, but right. you will be okay. I'm not okay. You You'll can't come okay. back from that. You'll be, you'll be okay, okay you know <laughs> you, you know that you're gonna get through it you it know that you'll be all right, right now but yeah. yeah there's always tomorrow you always gotta get up and you can't take that choice back that's fucked up so she did get charged for mm-hmm. it yeah. yeah she got arrested yeah and i he wish jail her out. he probably did they're probably fucking still they as had, we they're speak probably still together <laughs> That's my biggest thing. You can't get big mad like that about him cheating if you're just going to take it back two days later. Like, you can't even get mad at him. I mean, but it's the heat of the moment. But there that is wasn't no, the heat of the there moment. There is that no was way I would ever no, she be planned with somebody it. She planned that. It was daytime. Like dumped my parents' ashes. I guess one of her They should get charged, too. Whoever recorded that. No, 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 no. Why not? Is it like accessory? <laughs> That's an accomplice. Which is true. However, I wouldn't even, like, at what point do you talk your friend out and say, it's probably not a smart choice. If I called you right now, like, yo, I'm about to dump his mom ashes, bitch, come get me. This is my thing, though. You could have gotten away with it if you just wouldn't have filmed it. You could have thrown in the ashes, had your whole petty moment. He knows you threw him in the river. You know they threw him. But the world didn't need to know. If the world didn't know, you wouldn't have gotten arrested. Just don't film your dumb shit. Scratching the bottom of your feet. You going down, girl. I'm just saying, yes, you are. we've I'm all done guess. stupid shit in our lives. We've that's, all that's done a, a no ton go. of stupid things. The difference the is... the most disrespectful thing you've ever done as a scorned woman? <laughs> the most disrespectful thing. I gotta think. <sighs> See, what I would say probably the most disrespectful thing I did wasn't... It wasn't because of a man. There was... I, I, this, You're talking about... No, it no. <laughs> this place I used to work at, um, I had beef with my manager. Like she hated my guts. I couldn't fucking stand her. And she had a crush on this dude from the office. Now the dude from the office was head over heels for me. Had a huge Tell crush me on me. Mad, Every, so she was making my life difficult. Now she was my upline, so she was like my direct manager. And every day she was just making my life miserable in that office. So my parents were sick at the time. She knew, like, my mom was really bad with chemo. Like, my schedule was weird. Everybody was very understanding about it. So this bitch decides. She had been trying to get me to quit for a long time. 
she decided that she was going to move my territory from Lancaster to Perry County two hours away because it was going to make my life that much more difficult and I was going to have to be forced to quit because I couldn't be away from my parents mm -hmm. at that distance because they were so sick at the time. So I remember calling my mom, going to the lobby. I called my mom. I was like, Mom, this bitch just moved my fucking territory. And she was like, we need you to quit anyway. Like, you have to be home full time. So I walked back in. I talked to my manager, my, my like, state manager. And I was like, I'm going to have to leave. I talked to him about, you know, why I was going. He was super understanding, like, very nice. She laughed as I walked out of his office because she knew what I, I just had to do. So I grabbed Bo went to this bitch's office on her lunch break and fucked him right on her desk. That's probably the most disrespectful thing I ever did. And she earned it. And on that note, this concludes the episode. It's like, I'm just playing. I was just like, what's the most disrespectful thing you've done? Um, without incriminating yourself. Cause you, you I hope she I still think, sits I, at that I desk think, too. I bitch. think I was already charged for it. So. <laughs> Yeah, so um, let me see. I took the lug, I slashed his tires. Um, I took the lug nuts off his tires. So you mm -hmm. were trying to kill him. Um, yeah. I, yep, I, I cut brake lines before. <laughs> I sure did. See him, Zeddy? Yep. That must have been While he was standing there, I had a baseball bat. I smashed all his windows. <laughs> While he was standing, While right. He was standing right there. That, might, that probably made his dick hard. Probably did. Yep. Some men some men get really turned yeah. on by the toxic. They do. Mm -hmm. Some men get real turned on by that shit. That car didn't drive after. Oh, I bet it fucking didn't. <laughs> it, was, it was a brand new Dodge Charger, too. I bet it oh, didn't. Man. Oh, don't, man. Don't cheat well, on me and let me find out about this it. Has been. What um, have excuse you Excuse me. Done? You don't get to <laughs> walk out and not say yours. I do nothing like that. The worst thing I did was take somebody's toothbrush around the toilet. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> did they deserve it? I okay. Didn't feel like you did. Okay then. Did you watch him brush? Hold up. Home. Did you watch him brush his teeth? Did you let him use it? You did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> 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 yeah. That. Yeah. Get the game. It was funny. Body wins. Yeah. Body wins. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he cheated, and he didn't know that I knew that he cheated. Oh, yo. I was like, dude, I took that bitch, like, around, like, the upper Like, got I in oh, there. The <laughs> like, dug it in. Like, uh, <laughs> there was, like, a black chunk on it. Like, I used his toilet. It was, like, a black chunk, and I had to dip it in the toilet water and, like, get the chunk off of it. <laughs> The best shit I've heard oh, today. Oh, God, <laughs> funny. Home from work and was like, yeah, he was like, all right, because I knew he was going to the bar. I was like, all right, go ahead. Uh -huh. Took a shower, got the shower. I was like, you want some Listerine? Yeah, I'm about to get it. I'm about to brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Sat in the room. Yo. So in case you're watching this, sir. Uh, <laughs> listen, if I, I would have been dying. And he, I, probably, yeah. he would have been like, why are you laughing? Yo, something happened earlier. <laughs> Been, like, I, I saw told a funny him commercial. I did it afterwards. Oh, shit. Did you? How mad did he get? Not after, like immediately after, but like a couple months after. I was like, you know that one time. Oh, shit. How mad was, was he? Was he mad? Oh, you mad. You probably still had the same toothbrush, <laughs> Look at too. You. Was Toilet like, that dirty. I know you're not changing your toothbrush out like, like you should. He was like, I was wondering what that black stuff <laughs> Pettiness lasted Yo. for months. Oh, <laughs> I God. had to really sit there and think, like, what the fuck can I do to this man and make him feel how I'm feeling right now? So like, you know what? Yep. Yep. I'll mm -hmm. listen. I would have see. I would have went out and found found dog shit. 
No, I'm not doing that because he would have smelled it. See, but not that's really. not my. I'm well, the okay. same way. Not though. if you. Not if you. And dip. you can see it. No, but then just put it in the toilet, swish it around. That was so fun. I, but I, I appreciate it because I'm the same way. Like, when I do something petty, I don't even need you to know. Yeah. I don't even yeah, need you to know, know that I did it. Yeah. I, know. I know. And that's satisfying and enough. And it made yes, me it feel is. better. I in hope that, that moment, it, it made me feel better. I hope my ex-manager is watching because I, she did not uh-huh. know. She did not know that. So I'm hoping she's watching. Uh-huh. Um, I hope you put but yeah, like that was, I like that kind of petty. I don't need you to know. We don't need to fight about it. I know. I know. I know. And that's enough. And that's. That's exactly that's that enough. the point. I, You're not I, the only one who knows now. Uh huh. Yeah, and I did it. <laughs> I did it to not one of my exes, but two. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You got poop breath. <laughs> Shitty. Oh wow. All right, ladies. And this concludes. This concludes our one year anniversary. Ooh. Yes, the Queen's Table. Yay. Tomorrow's one year since we've been on air. So happy anniversary, Happy girl. anniversary. Happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. Y'all didn't even bring me flowers or nothing, and y'all didn't expect me to put out. I mean, you know I could what? take that pussy anyway. Stop it. You're right. <laughs> Let me stop because people <laughs> believe in the shit that we say. I know. So again, we're gonna go through our lineup yes. really, really quickly. This Saturday, June 11th, we have Cypress Sounds yes. over at Zotropolis. Um, 112 North Water Street, hosted by myself and Kenzie. Uh, we also have Dame Robinson on that show, and so is Thundercat. And then July 16th, we have Room of Rhyme, our third edition of Room mm-hmm. of Rhyme, and August 5th in York, New Street Labs. At the so Bond. At the Bond. The Bond. Yeah, that's like the upper echelon of the hood. Yes, we're going to have to be sure Bond girls that night. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. here for it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing I say is fake, so. <laughs> Why you say that? I didn't uh, that in there because what you just said. What? People, people be believing what we say. Like, it's not real. Oh, no, no. No, I'm saying Oh, because I was saying I was going to take that pussy. Oh. Well, well we I will. We fuck each other or nothing like that. Oh, no, we don't, but it's... it's not, not yet, right. anyway, no. <laughs> Stop it. Meow. Meow. We have a one-year anniversary. It's exciting. Bye, Yay. guys. Bye, guys. So we got to do something. Oh, well, Saturday. Let's go out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can celebrate Saturday. I'm here for it.